Welcome to The Edge, a brand new show that explores the limitless potential of innovation. We take a look into the future to showcase the next big thing that will change industry, commerce and science as we know it. And of course we'll be revealing how you can position your investments now to profit from the future. It's time to give you The Edge. Over in the Netherlands, researchers are working on improving arguably the most sought-after product in the world, human wellness. For the past six years, as many as 200 people at the Holst Centre have been developing technology designed to reimagine the multi-trillion dollar healthcare industry by bringing products close, very close. It's called a BAN, or Body Area Network, a wireless group of wearable sensors designed to measure everything from heart rates to respiration to the electronic impulses in your heart and brain. The body area networks is really a network of devices which are uh, worn on your body and that measure different parameters and provide different feedback of information to you. That's one aspect of the body area networks, the sensing aspect. But the body area networks has another aspect which is also the feedback mechanism. So you can use that to uh, access some of your information uh, or to even relay, uh, to be related to the external world. Physicians have already tested prototype devices on existing patients, replacing a myriad of hospital systems with wireless devices that do everything from monitoring irregular heartbeats to preempting epileptic attacks. But researchers say the new technologies could go beyond simply monitoring existing ailments. There is a new trend which is uh, looking at how can we uh, ensure, make sure that people stay healthy rather than treating them. That's something that you could call personal health, or even if you push it to the extreme, it could be consumer health. And their body our networks play a huge role also in basically getting people the possibility to track and record their health parameters. And it's not just preventative. Since all the health monitoring done by banned devices has the potential to end up in a big data pool, it could provide scientists with invaluable insight into how bodies react when faced with up to now incurable diseases. In the future, we may be able to mine uh, this uh, body sensor network data and try to find clues that will help people to indeed predict or prevent certain diseases or certain disorders. Now, the only problem is this quality data. Current health trackers like this on my wrist only monitor things like heart rates and movements. The next goal is to take a look at the bigger picture. There is a huge opportunity to uh, enlarge the type of sensors, the type of modalities and parameters that you can measure with body sensor networks by allowing you to tap not only on your activity, but also in your cardiovascular system, respiration system, perhaps even measure your brainwave and get information about your mental activity. Meaning connected healthcare devices have the potential to diagnose everything from the common cold to interrupted sleep, all before you exhibit any symptoms. <laughs> 